so today I am filming from our completed bathroom which is so exciting honestly this week has been so dreamy there are no builders in the house it means I can snack whenever I want I can go to the loo whenever I want I'm wearing jogging bottoms right now instead of jeans it's just so nice to get back into the swing of things properly and also to have a working bathroom which is lovely but also basically just to have the bathroom of our dreams we are so happy with it there's definitely going to be a renovation video part two coming up with like a little tour around and just like a conclusion what it was actually like the things that went wrong the things that went right i'll probably throw a bit of a bathroom haul in there as well because of the weekend we went to john lewis and picked up some bits so that's coming in a couple of weeks time but i thought today i would show you the bathroom cabinet which is what you're sitting in right now and it's something that i have never ever had we've never lived in places that had that much bathroom storage so we sort of had this like muji plastic towel that we would shove things into but now it's organized i can see it all i can basically fit all of my skincare in here i have a couple of things in the office but they're basically just backups of everything pretty much everything is in this bathroom cabinet skincare wise and then i also thought i would show you the under sink storage because that's got things like hair care body care shower bits in as well so i'm going to give you a little tour and then i'm also going to show you my morning and evening skincare routine because my skin's been pretty well behaved at the moment considering we've basically lived off of microwave mills since new year because our kitchen was just covered in like three inches of dust i feel like i'm holding up pretty well despite just yeah constantly eating pasta and so i feel like my skincare picks are pretty on point right now i'm really happy with the things i'm using and it's basically been the same for the last sort of six months almost some of the things i've been using since the beginning of the year and have really been working out well but yeah i thought i would just show you that as well but first the tour. So this is what I'm going to show you around this absolutely gigantic mirrored cabinet. It's from Ikea. I'll make sure it's linked down below for you. Also, if anyone has any mirror cleaning tips, I'm all ears because it is as smudgy as hell. And then underneath this Ikea unit as well, this has all the towels and more of the bath and shower stuff in. But I feel like this is the main attraction. So let's go here first. So you open it up and it looks a little something like this which looks nuts because it's all mirrored. And so it's actually just this center bit here. Yeah, it makes your eyes go a bit funny. Um, but I'll give you a little tour shelf by shelf. So here we have the oral health section, our toothbrushes, mouthwash, the little flossy things, toothpaste. And then here, um, people ask me how you get the wax out of these. Pop them in the freezer and then basically the wax just sort of pops out and it's very easy to get out. So I do that with all my diptyque um, empty candles that I've used in one. I've just got cotton wool, cotton buds, a little spoolie thing. And then here on this bottom shelf, just because it's easy to grab. Oh, there's the plug hole for the sink. Pop that there. This is basically my everyday skincare routine. The things that I use time and time and time again, things like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover is the only thing that gets waterproof mascara off, basically. The Kills Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence is amazing for hydration. I've really been into the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, but I have, I don't think there's really much left of that. I'm just trying to use it up. The Kiehl's Powerful Strength Lime Reducing Concentrate. I did some sponsored work with them recently on this, but I genuinely have been using it every day. Underneath the Pixie Glow Tonic To Go pads. I love those. I picked up another one, so I've got backup. The Glossier, oh, what one's that called? The Pure. I pop that on any spots that I've got. Glossier Prime and Moisturizer Rich. That's like my evening moisturizer. The Kiehl's SPF 30. 30, yeah, is awesome. Absolutely love it. The Clarins Self Tanner. And then these eye drops, which I picked up from America, I think they're called Roto Cool, are like mouthwash for your eyeballs, but whenever they're bloodshot, that works really well. So then we go up a shelf, and this is Mark's area. He actually showers at work for like five days out of the week. And so this is sort of his edited weekend picks. He has all of his weekday stuff there, but he loves this moisturizer. He loves the Chanel perfume. I think that smells incredible. This is like his little area. This is the little clock that times are. Uh, toothbrushes which is very handy and then this is one of the jade rollers I get asked about these a lot as well I absolutely love them especially this bigger one this works really well on the old double chin do a bit of that sometimes it feels great and then this area is kind of split into two these are sort of either new things that I'm trying in my routine I kind of want to give a go so I've got them there sort of at eye level as a bit of reminder all this sort of additional things that I might not necessarily use every single night but I really enjoy using in my routine kind of occasionally and then here I've just got cleaning stuff. So the beauty blender, the liquid, and then the beauty blender solid soap 
I just think they're the best things to clean like brushes and beauty blenders, so I've got those there. Oh, BRB. I'm back. I'm breathless, but I'm back. Um, so this section is just sort of the additional bits of things I want to try. I still haven't tried Glossier Solution. Um, the reviews are very varied. I think it's like a Marmite product. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that. I haven't given that one a go yet. But behind that, I've got the Dr. Jart BB cream that I love. The Glossier Priming Moisturizer that I use occasionally. Also Super Bounce that I love. And um, I recently went away with SkinCeuticals. And this is their new product that they've launched. The Glycolic 10 Renew Overnight. So I'll let you know about that. I've used this before from them, the Redness Neutralizer. Being a very red person, I do actually find that to work really well. The CF Ferulic is a vitamin C like antioxidant serum. Very much into those at the moment. That's basically what the Kiehl's is like. And it's kind of crazy because when I first went into beauty, I actually worked at the PR agency that used to PR this brand, which is just absolutely nuts to have this like full circle moment. And actually the um, HA intensifier, which is like intense hyaluronic acid, is so good. I've been messaging Caroline about this. She's like, yep, yeah, Anna, it's amazing. Everyone already knows it's amazing. This is so good. Um, also from Dr. Jar, I have their Sycopair Tiger Grass Repair Serum. Haven't given that a go yet. I have tried the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, and I have to say I'm not crazy about this. I thought I would really love it. I find it a little bit thick. It's like a green, I'll show you actually. It's like a green tinted moisturizer basically, but I just find it a little bit thick and not too hydrating. I'm not crazy about that. Um, these mini ceramidins I've been asked about and unfortunately I don't think they're available for sale. They came from my lovely friend Rohit who managed to get his hands on some for me but I'm sure if you go somewhere like um, at Selfridges they sell these in the UK. I'm sure if you go to counter you might be able to bag yourself a couple um, but I love the ceramidin. It's a very good all-round moisturizer for all kind of skin types really. And then I have two May Lindstrom products. I absolutely love these. They cost me a small fortune but I would happily repurchase them time and time again. The Blue Cocoon is possibly the best smelling skincare product ever and just treats my skin so well whenever it's feeling a little bit aggravated, a little bit red, a little bit sensitive. That is so, so good. Really good for travel as well. And then the Youth Dew is a newer product that I got. Obviously Caroline loves it. Alana has mentioned it too. And I cannot stop using it. I might even use it this evening so you can see it on basically like a very intense oil but I feel so juicy in the morning when I use that. Now we're up on the third shelf and these are things I don't use as often. I call this the luxury bathing shelf area and Mark just rolled his eyes at that and thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. But he bloody loves these oils. He uses them all the time. They're all from Aromatherapy Associates. I've also got some matches there for the candles in here. Um, but yeah, whenever I fancy a uh, kind of fancy bath, I basically use these. This is the mask area. I don't have too many because I just really love the ones that I use and they're just ones that I use time and time again. This Brilliant Skin Detoxifying and Brighten Mask, I've mentioned it before, really like it. It's almost like a mix of these two, which is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I'm now on a new tub of this. I finally used up that tub that I had for years. I think it's absolutely awesome. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite mask. The Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask is good for hydration. The Mega Greens Galaxy Pack is more of like a cleansing one, so sometimes I use those in conjunction with each other. Whew, this is a workout for the old arms. Um, here I have some alternative cleansers from the Glossier one, because sometimes you just fancy using something a bit different, like the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel, Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm, and then I've also just got a mini Bioderma here as well in case I'm not wearing waterproof mascara and I just want to use that to take my makeup off. In this top top corner, this is a new addition, I have a bowl that just has beauty blenders in because I thought instead of having them in the bedroom, having to traipse in here, dampen them, take them back, clean them, I thought I'd keep them in here dampen them when I'm doing my skincare routine, take them into the bedroom, put my makeup on, and then I can bring them back here, clean them, and pop them up there. But then in this little box, I have something new. Because I love being in this room so much, and sort of some days you just want a little bit of makeup but nothing too crazy, I thought I'd bring just like everyday, very quick, very glowy makeup essentials in here so I could just, you know, throw a bit into moisturizer on, put a bit of mascara on and sort of be done for the day. If you'd like to see everything that's in here and for me to do like a little tutorial of that, give me a shout. Um, but yeah, it's basically just got things that you've seen before, things like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the Milk Makeup Bronzer is in there, 
the Fairy Drops Mascara. Also this Zoeva brush is amazing. The 108 Silk brush is great. It basically works for everything in here, but yeah, give me a shout if you wanna see that. On the top of the sink, I've just got some plants and then the Aesop hand balm and hand wash. Both cost an absolute fortune, but the hand wash, once it's run out, I'll just, I'll just fill up with some like Carex or something. And then the hand balm, super pricey, but lasts so long. Our last bottle lasted about possibly three years, even more than that. This top drawer just has towels in it, nothing very special going on in there. And then this bottom drawer, you can see, Mark actually has a rather large area of this. I also told him he never needs to buy sun cream ever again but these are just some backups of like mouthwash that we've got and toothpaste and then some other bits of his in this middle section i keep the muslin cloths also an extra of the flossing things and also two candles there love to have a candle on when i bathe and then you're probably not going to be able to see this section too well but i'll lift a couple of things up for you deodorant mitchum all day every day it's awesome but of course i've got the bumble and bumble sunday shampoo in there these are the therapy bits. I can't keep this in the top because it's just so heavy. But the Himalayan Detox Sorts. And also I'm loving this. The Cherish Skin Repair Serum. It feels like absolute heaven. And then currently for my shower gel, I'm using this from This Works. The Deep Sleep Shower Gel, which, yeah, just smells incredible. Right. Just drinking some squash because I am a child. I'm looking a bit pink after that because I am so <laughs> hot right now. But I thought I would go through my morning skincare routine probably quite speedily because I can't imagine that was particularly quick. Just popping my hair up because I currently have no hair bands. I don't know how that's possible. Like I actually have none. I really need to go out and buy some. Apologies if the lighting for this bit isn't really great, but I'm sure you just kind of want to see the product more than my skin. If you want to have a look at my skin, this is what it's currently looking like. Got a bit of a scar from a spot down there, looking a little bit red. But I'd say overall, it's not looking too bad right now. Um, so for cleanser, I use the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I just think it just does what it says on the tin. It's very simple, it's nothing special, but my skin just reacts really well to it. Never makes it too red, never makes it angry. I don't break out or anything with it. So I just sort of massage it into the face gently. I can't believe I'm making this video. Honestly, this is just making me so happy right now. And then I just wipe it off with a damp muslin cloth. Do you like my new towels? Look at these, they're colour. They're from John Lewis. I love them. I'll link them down below. The description box of this video is going to be massive. So then it's time to start like the moisture steps. And actually I haven't mentioned this in this video so far and I probably should mention it at the beginning. But my skin, I'd say I'm quite lucky with spots. I tend to get the odd one around that time of the month, but they're nothing too horrendous. They're quite manageable. Give them a little pop and then they're done. I'm sorry, I know you probably shouldn't do that, but I love, oh my God, I love popping spots. Um, although I haven't been watching those popping spot videos on YouTube, I feel like that's just a little bit of a step too far for me. But my skin is dehydrated. I was lucky enough to have a facial with skin SkinCeuticals last week and the lady was like, yeah, your skin is quite dehydrated. So it's not dry dry. I don't have any like flakes or sort of visible dryness, but it's just, it's not as juicy as it could be. I know that's because I haven't been drinking a lot of water recently because of the whole builder toilet situation. So I'm trying to get back on it with the, um, with the squash. Does that count? So basically all of my skincare is geared towards glow and dewiness and hydration because I like to look a little bit greasy actually. So I'm just going to take this Kiehl's Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. I have the tiniest amount of this left. This is the second one that I've used. And I basically just press this on my face. It's the same as doing like a hydrating spritz. I feel like essences are perhaps a little thicker, a little bit more hydrating. I like that I'm applying it directly to my face instead of it just like, woo, going in the air around me. But yeah, I really like this product. We'll definitely repurchase. If you feel like you need that extra step of hydration, that's a great thing to add into your routine. And then I was going to go for this actually, the serum, but I think I'm going to go for the, um, the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate with Vitamin C. Um, yeah, in the blog post I did with them, their dermatologist basically noted all the reasons why you should have vitamin C in your skincare routine. And I was like, yeah, I really should be doing that. And this is nice, it's not gritty or grainy. There's a slight warming on the skin when you apply it, but it has hyaluronic acid in as well. So a lot of vitamin C things that I've used in the past have been a little bit matte and like moussey on the skin. 
but this feels this feels hydrating i was using an eye cream till recently and i would have been putting that on after the essence step um, but it's run out and it was the creme de la mer one i bought it and was literally sick in my mouth it was so blooming expensive and it was nice it did feel really luxurious under the eyes but i just don't feel that it was worth that amount of money so i'm in the market for a new eye cream i'm very frivolous with eye creams i sort of never found one that i really really like aside from the tata harper one that was lovely i think it was called the restorative eye cream that was really delicious so i might have to repurchase that one but if you have any other recommendations i'm all ears i've just realized that the sun cream i'm going to put on is again from kills this is not sponsored by kills i just genuinely really enjoy their skincare yeah that is a lot of kills and there's not as much kills in my um evening skincare routine i just really like their sun creams um if you're looking for a cheaper dupe la roche posay do some great sun creams um but i really like the kills one and this one is nice this is the ultra facial cream spf 30 i've already gone through a small one of these i put so much of this on i like use it like a normal moisturizer that you would in the morning i find it's really hydrating and it doesn't leave my skin feeling sensitive or red and i did find that the glossier one the invisible shield i think it was called that one just didn't work out for me it left my skin feeling a little bit red a little bit hot i sort of had a mini sort of reaction to it every time i use it whereas this just feels like a really hydrating moisturizer plus it has spf 30 in so win-win so this is my skin after my morning routine i feel like i look quite hydrated i'm protected any sort of splodges of redness will calm down in the next 10 minutes or so but overall i love it really happy the products that i'm using and i will check back in at the end of the day and i'll show you how i whip it all off so it's now the time of day where my body temperature just doesn't get higher than like three degrees and <laughs> so i've got massive roll neck on and then also new dressing gown guys this is a new dressing gown i got this on the skin suitcase trip and it has my initials <laughs> on it somewhere which meant oh God, i haven't even mentioned this yet i don't know if i've mentioned this on social media this is big news in the household i've got rid of the purple dressing gown it was a big moment i felt like i should pass it on to somebody or donate it or something but it had practically grown legs I'd had it for about four, four or five years maybe, and all of the arms were burnt where I'd like caught them on the hob and basically the plastic had like singed and it was time to move on. This is honestly the softest thing ever. I, I just can't stop wearing it. Um, but the time it is, it is almost seven o'clock. So it's, it is kind of a suitable time to be in dressing gown, but I'm gonna take it off just so I can physically move my arms around. What have I got under here? An in and out t-shirt, nice. No, it's too cold to go to that. So I'm just gonna have to pull this down and bring all my skincare down. But it is time for evening skincare routine, which is kind of similar to the morning one, but includes this as the first step. This is the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover. In fact, I'm gonna zhuzh up my hair one second. So this is it in the salon size. They very kindly sent this to me, but you would have seen I've bought possibly about 20 bottles of this over the years. It's one of the biophase makeup removers, and so you just have to give it a little shake. I just love it. The only one that comes close to this is the La Roche-Posay one that they bought out for waterproof makeup. That is really, really good, really good actually. I prefer this one a little bit more because I feel like it's slightly oilier, so it just helps to remove makeup that bit quicker, but I basically just take it, hold it over my eyes, Ta -da! And it basically does a really good job of taking off waterproof mascara. I can't really be bothered to use like a separate makeup remover or anything like that. So I just take it all over, get the rest of the gunk off with that. And then I go in with a cleanse. And for that, I'm just using the Glossier again, taking two pumps. I feel like with cleansers, it's always hard. You always start off with one pump and then you graduate to two and then there's no going back. In the evening, I take a little bit longer just massaging it in to make sure I really am getting every little trace of makeup off. The next step is again the same as the morning. I take the Kiehl's Iris Extract again and just dab that on. I just never used to be into this sort of essence step, but once you try it, yeah, it feels good. At this point, we've got options. If I had an eye cream right now, I would put that on and that would be my eye cream step done haven't got one, not really missing it too much. Then I would move on to a serum. And recently I've been using, like I mentioned, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I also really like 
the Glossier Super Bounce. Just something hydrating that I know my skin isn't gonna react with. It's just gonna give it lots of moisture. But I'm gonna use the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, which is new to me. It costs a lot, I think it's 85 pounds a bottle. That is pricey. And so I will link dupes for you below. But like I said, this is just, it's really, really, I mean, look at that. Oh, doesn't it look too fancy in the thing? But I've just been super, super, super impressed by how juicy and hydrated my skin feels after this. So I'm just gonna press it onto my face. It feels kind of sticky, but in a good way. And then it kind of just slips on and almost feels like silk. And although it doesn't feel anything special now it's in the morning where I really really notice a difference so I'll put on a serum serum step done then if I have any spots I'll put a little bit of the Glossier Super Pure serum on it just sort of dot that on and then I would just move on to a moisturizer so daily I just use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich about halfway through that I really really like that product it's very thick, very creamy on the skin, it feels quite luxurious considering it's not too pricey. Um, something like the Dr. Jart Ceramidin is a similar sort of vein, it would be good for everyone, is another moisturiser that I like. Oh, that serum feels so nice on my hands. Um, but I'm going to go today with the May Lindstrom Skin the Youth Dew. I mentioned this this morning that I thought I might use it. I have just been wowed by this product and again it's super pricey so if there's any other oils that I've used recently or over the years that I like that are a little bit cheaper, I'll link them down below for you. You do not need a lot of this. I normally go in with one pump, if I'm feeling really dry I'll do two pumps and if I'm feeling really really dry I'll do my two pumps and then I'll kind of come back sort of almost hourly before I go to bed and just see where my skin's at, see if it needs any more. Sometimes I've mixed a bit of blue cocoon in as well, I'm really gone for it. But today I'm just feeling, feeling a little bit dry, so I feel like I'll do one pump. Just looks like, you cannot see that. Just looks like a little oil. I don't wanna waste it on my hands, so just quick press. And then just pressing that into the skin. Oh my word, it smells so good. It smells quite almondy. Oh my word. I'm not sure this is something I would use during the day because I feel like it does, it doesn't sit on the skin necessarily, but it doesn't sink in super, super quickly. You wouldn't be able to put on makeup in like two minutes uh, on my skin anyway. Oh, I feel like the finish is quite oily looking. I am mad about that though. Yesterday, Mark was like, wow, <laughs> when I came into bed. There's definitely like a shine going on on my face, but I like that. I'm like, no, let's go to bed looking like a Friday. And then in the morning, your skin just looks juicy and plump. And if you drink your water, I have been drinking my water today, even better. But that's it, pop on my pajamas and I'm ready for bed. I'll come a little bit closer. I, mean, I don't really know if you can see much of a difference, but I feel like there's a bit of glow to my skin. You can kind of see the oil, but honestly, oh my word, that just smells. <laughs> So nice. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, the description box is probably going to be too long for YouTube if I mention every single product that I've sort of spotlighted here. So I think I'll just link to the real highlights down below and also anything that I used in either of my two skincare routines. But thank you so much for watching. I am so happy that I've finally been able to film this video. The moment has finally arrived. Um, and like I said, there'll be a home renovation coming soon. And then a February favorites with a twist coming next week. But let me know if you'd like to see that quickie kind of makeup routine. Shout, might be able to do a little uh, cheeky Wednesday upload for you. So I will see you then. Uh, but yeah, have a good week, I'll see you soon, bye.